Hello everyone, this is Impulse, and welcome back to the Moonlight server. And as you can see behind me, I've been doing a little work here at my base. I put in a nice little canal or river, and basically what this is going to be used for is it's going to be funneling items into what we're going to be working on today, which is a storage room. No, I'm not done with it yet, but <laughs> this is going to be where I put my storage room. I'm going to make a circle storage room. I'm going to put it in the ground, and I'm going to cover it with glass so you can kind of walk over top of it and look down into it. And I'm also going to make a really cool way to get in and out of it. And uh, you guys voted for the storage room, and it just barely beat out the theme park in the end. So I'm going to hold off on doing that one uh, for a soon to be future episode it won't be too long because i'm looking forward to doing that build as well um, but today we're going to build a really really cool storage room um, i'm going to go over the top as usual and try to put as many chests in, in there as i can uh, so it's going to be quite massive i've already stolen some uh some items from tango <laughs> don't tell him uh <laughs> no he he told me i could borrow some wood don't worry about it <laughs> and uh, i'll be paying him back of course so what I'm going to do now is I, I need to gather a couple more things for this build. And I think what I'll do, and something I haven't done in quite a while, a couple episodes at least, is a, a nice time lapse. So first thing I need to do is dig this out, and then I'll start placing the chests, and uh, we'll take it from there. So let's jump into a time lapse. <laughs> As you can see, I have the hole dug out, so the next thing I'm going to need to do is to start placing the chest. So here's the idea. You can see that on each kind of side here, we have the, the wide part that's a five wide. And what my plan is for each one of these four sides is to actually put like a nice storage silo in the middle here. I'm going to do a, a cool design with two lamps on each side, so it actually has... Uh, side lamps instead of up the middle and I just kind of like that one better because then your chest is in the middle here and you have lamps right next to it going all the way up. I just kind of like the looks of it. Um, so I'm going to do that on all four sides and then basically just fill in uh, the rest of the circle here going along the perimeter with chests from top to bottom as far as I can reach. I think it's about seven high that I can reach up to and what's nice about the circle pattern is when you have a chest here you can open it from um, two sides and that way I can also put like an item frame on it and still have a side that's completely accessible So that's kind of the reason why I chose to go with the circle and I'm gonna start placing the chests and making the silos So you can get a chance to see it and why not do another time-lapse? I'm in the mood. So let's do it
All right. That was a uh, fun, a little bit tedious build, but uh, I think it looks amazing. I am really happy. This actually turned out looking a lot better than I thought it would, so I'm extremely pleased. But I'm not quite done with it. It's missing a few features, and I got a little bit more work to do on the inside. So let's get down there. I want to show you something. You might have noticed it already, those slime blocks. I want to show you exactly what those are. Uh, pretty cool. I had to come up with a way to get in and out of this thing. And, you know, since we're on the snapshots, I figured let's use slime blocks and their mechanics. So check it out. When you get down in, hold space bar, there you go. And basically it's just a little player launcher. So when you want to get out of this thing, you just kind of run forward and it'll spring you right up onto the steps. And there you go. Pretty fun way to get in and out. I, I must say I, I do enjoy it. Um, I did set up a few things temporarily here just to finish the builds out. I'll show you the redstone uh, Real quick here, let's take a look and just dig out these blocks here. So basically you see, I have the furnaces here around the slime blocks. That's so that uh, you know they, they don't get moved by slime blocks now that things stick to slime blocks, which is cool. And then underneath, pretty simple redstone actually, um, just a, and, and yeah, my redstone's still messed up. It's my texture pack um, on these snapshots, but I, I just can't go back to default. <laughs> anyway, so this redstone's actually connected to this repeater right there. And you see it's on a four tick delay. So that makes it so as you cross the pressure plate, you got just a little bit of time before that bounces you up and right into those stairs. And so, yeah, yeah, pretty cool. So let me put this back together. And one other thing I want to do... How am I missing a... Oh, that was glowstone. <laughs> one other thing I want to do is I want to have a beacon shining up. In fact, not just one. I want to have one, two, three, four, five. Five beacons shining up through the center of this thing. Um, so I think that'll look pretty cool, but I have some work to do before I can do that. I have one beacon already prepared, and I have 12 skulls. So we're going to have to get to work on killing us some wither skellies. I used a bunch of my levels to get my gear back up to uh, par. I got all protection gear. I'm going to try to do this without potions. And uh, I want to show you guys a little trick. I'm going to need, need some more obsidian. What did I do with my obsidian? There we go. Uh, I want to show you a little trick that I learned for killing a wither boss. And in fact, we're going to be killing a couple of them. So four of them to be exact, and that will give me five total beacons. So I'm gonna go find a good spot to do it, and I'll meet you there. Okay, so I found what I'm looking for. I am in the overworld, and I'm currently under the deserts up there. I figured that way if this guy does get loose, something goes wrong here that uh, he won't destroy anything significant. So I don't mind if he destroys the desert, but we're down at bedrock, so the chances of him getting up there are pretty slim. Uh, but here's what we're looking for. This is a bedrock formation, and basically you can see it's got uh, bedrock right here, and so there's this block missing in the middle. And so that's where we're going to spawn him, and we're going to try to trap him with some obsidian. And let me show you how this works. Basically, you put soul sand there, 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 and there to make the T for the, the wither. And then we're going to put one skull on right there, and then we're going to put obsidian right on top of his head there, and then another one right on top of that. And what's going to happen is when we create him, he will blow up this one, but this one's going to stay there, and it's going to keep him from floating up and out of that bedrock formation. At least that's the hope. So, And then what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to do a ranged attack while he's stuck there, just so I make sure he's not hitting me with his uh, block or blockbusters, is that what they're called? I think so. Uh, I want to get back and make sure he's not going to be shooting those at me, and I'll probably get back, I don't know, about this far or so. We'll see. And I, what I did here is I just put made myself a little room, uh, slept in there, and that way if I do die, I can come back, collect my stuff, and uh, continue fighting him. So hopefully everything goes okay here. I got full armor, a uh, decent sword with sharpness 5 uh, for when I need to melee him, and then I got my power 5 bow with infinity. And so hopefully that will, will do it. I always get nervous even when they're trapped like this. So let's, let's find out how this goes. You guys ready? Run! Uh-oh. It looked like he got out right away, didn't it? Uh-oh, that's a bad sign. <laughs> Oh, oh, Graf's freaking out. <laughs> she didn't know I was up to this. Uh, okay, so you can see I did hit him once. Uh, where did he go? 
Oh, there we go. Okay, hit him again. Come on. He's somewhere. Okay, that time I hit him. So you just have to watch the bar at the top and make sure you're hitting him. And we'll see if we can get him down to melee. So you got to get him past halfway. And then I'll pull out my sword. Where'd he go? Should be a little more. Might be there already. There we go. And, oh, he's blockbustering me. But you can see he's stuck. Don't kill me, don't kill me, don't kill me, don't kill me. Oh, I'm hurting. Come on, buddy. And dead. Yes, I'm probably going to die from that. <laughs> Let's see. Come on, hearts, hang in there. I should have brought some milk. I'm going to be withering for a while. Uh, well, let me grab the star real quick and get out of here before I wither to death. <laughs> Might as well go next to my bed if I am going to die. My armor's holding up pretty well, though. You could do some resistance potion, bring some milk, obviously. And uh, let me just throw the star in there just to be safe. Come on, hold up, hearts. You can do it. Uh, I don't think I'm going to make it. I don't think I'm, I should freak graph out, though. Should I? Oh, no. <laughs> oh, no. Wither loose. <laughs> Oh, I was giving Graf a hard time earlier for dying too. So I guess I would, I would recommend, did I spell loose right? <laughs> I think so. I would recommend bringing some milk just so you can get rid of that wither uh, effect. So when you do melee him, but uh, yeah, there's one down. I got a star. I think I will actually do that real quick. So I'm going to run and grab some milk for the next couple fights and uh, I'll probably just do a quick time lapse. And oh, let me show you the, the area again. You can see, hopefully, that you saw he was trapped. There was nowhere for him to go. Um, so that makes the fight so much easier. But you can see one bedrock or one obsidian is left. And so next time, we'll just need to put another one right there underneath it. And we'll be able to do the same thing again. And let me retorch this area since he blew up all the torches here. Uh, do you expose any diamonds? That would be cool. I got the, the nether star, but diamonds would be nice too. Okay. So, all right, I will go get some milk so I don't continue just dying from it. Um, but that is a pretty easy way to do it. I mean, if you had potions and milk, it should be no problem. So let me go do that, and we'll see how it goes on the second try. Be right back. All right, let's try this again. Attempt number two. I got my milk this time, so hopefully I won't die once it's all over. We'll, we'll see. All right, put the head there, and you can see he only blew out that one underneath it. So here we go. Heads on, and hope for the best back a little farther this time. All right, I think I am about right there. she is <laughs> not bad not bad all right two down two down all right let's light this place back up still destroying some of the cobble around here no big deal cool all right let's get the next one going
Number There's number four. All right, cool. So milk definitely helped. So that's the one thing I'd recommend. And you saw that when I had my milk, I didn't die on the last three attempts. And now we have them. So we got our four nether stars. Now let's go back and make ourselves some beacons. Okay, so I've got the pyramid all set up. You can see I got it arranged for five beacons. So you kind of have to do your three by three and then just expand out on each side and I'll show you what it looks like when we get all five down. So one, two, three, four. <laughs> Beaconator. Nice. <laughs> I like that. All right. So you can see around each beacon you, you have to have that three by three and then it continues down. So um, pattern kind of looks like that. So <laughs> graph is cheering for me. Awesome. Oh, and then this is another thing I noticed when I was uh, <laughs> now I'm Hungry. <laughs> I want a Baconator. <laughs> uh, when I was digging up to, to make it so that these can get skylight, I noticed that my my uh, player launcher slime pad thing up there, uh, we're going to have to redo some of that redstone because the, the beacons can't shine through the block that the redstone was on top of. So we'll have to check that out. Um, I kind of broke these four just to make sure the light would go through. And then I had to fix one just so I could bounce back up. Um, but we'll go up top and fix that. Let's go ahead and set these guys now. Uh, let's see. We'll just do speed, speed two, check. And that was the middle one. And then we'll do this back one here. And this one will be haste, haste two, check. And then we got this one here, which is resistance. Uh, can I do resistance? Do I not have a full pyramid? Hello? Did I? Let's check, see if I missed a block here. We got all those. Got a five, one, two, three, four, five. Got a seven, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And then nine, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Oh, should be good. Uh, why won't it set? Oh, no, it will. Interesting. Speed two, haste two, and we'll do Resistance 2. Huh, must have just been a glitch. And then we'll set this one to jump boost. Oh, see, it's doing it again. Interesting. There, get back into it. Huh, weird. All right, and then we'll set this one, and then we have to go clear out the top for it to give us that. So <laughs> maybe it won't let us set it without it actually working. Let's check here. One, two, three, four, five. Will it not let us set it without it having uh, open sky? Hmm. Okay. Interesting. I didn't know that. Here, let's do this real quick. Sometimes my texture pack. Let's get rid of the faithful. And we'll go back to it and see if it's just got something to do with the texture pack. No? Still? Ugh. <laughs> After being in faithful for so long, I can't stand it. All right, so maybe we have to light it up first. Okay, let's go ahead and do that. I want my texture pack back. <laughs> All right, let me get up top uh, where the redstone is that's blocking this guy here. And we have, as you can see, speed two, haste two, jump boost two, resistance two. And then we will have uh, strength. Let's try it one more time. Strength. Um, interesting. Okay, so let me get up top, fix that, and then we'll see if we can get it.
Okay, so I'm back up here at the jump pad, and you can see I've got um, all these ones here where these beams are coming through. I had to take out that block right there, and that's actually the block that is holding the repeater that's going to be facing into that piston right there that's in the middle of this, this slime uh, cross thing here. So uh, what we need to do is basically find, if I take this solid block out, then that beam should come through. Let's see, there it goes. Um, and so the problem is I need to put... I need to put a repeater there going into that. And I was scratching my head trying to figure out what block can I use that's going to allow a beacon to go through it and also allow me to put redstone on top. And I finally figured it out. If I do a hopper right there, you can see the beacon still goes through it. And if I hold shift, I can put the repeater on top. So put that on four tick delay, and there you go. Beacon goes through, still have redstone uh, on top of the, the hopper there, and so that's how we're going to have to do it. Um, anybody else know of a block that, that a beacon can shine through that you can put redstone on top? Please let me know. I'll reclaim my expensive hoppers here, but uh, I couldn't think of anything else. I mean, I was literally going through the creative inventory looking and uh, finally, finally figured out that those would work. So let's go ahead and fix all these up real quick like. Okay, and I think that's all of them. Did I get that one already? Yep. All right, so we'll just fill this back in. Uh, more blocks. Okay, put all these around there just like that. And then we'll give it a little test. Oh, actually, I'm forgetting to put the, the glowstone back in place. I, I like that glowstone on the edge. Gives the, the room a nice lighting effect. So make sure we get those back where they go. Like that. And then do this one. And we'll be all set. Oh, see, I forgot it again. There we go. All right, so let's go ahead and see all five beacon lights coming through. We'll have to go down and set that one back to... Uh, have the strength as well but so now I can run around my base a little faster I can jump two blocks high and I can run onto this thing let's see if it still works boom <laughs> I love that I love that and this thing let's see how it looks now now this is one problem <laughs> uh, this is not looking good with the beacons going through kind of the side of Pandora so I'm just gonna move this whole thing over I'm just kidding. Uh, <laughs> that would be a pretty big job. I think what I'll do is I'll make the island bigger. and I'm not sure when I'll do that, but I'll eventually make the island bigger so that this is the actual center point instead of that right there, and then it will look good again. So you'll see I'll, I'll just expand kind of this left side out a little more, and then I'll bring that center point over. So I'll do that eventually to make it look good, but... Uh, this is one heck of a storage room. <laughs> I'm digging it. And I'm the five beacons around my base with, uh, I believe since I did full pyramid that I have a radius of like 50 blocks before it wears off. So I can, I can run all the way around this river and uh, I can throw my items in here and I do have to hook that up. Uh, when I get back from being out building, I just throw my items in the river. It'll get sucked up into hoppers, get stored in that silo. Um, so that's something that uh, I need to do real quick. I want to just real quick do the redstone, at least for this silo, since it's going to be storing my junk items. And uh, I'll do that, and then I'll come back and I'll show you how this, this silo works. So give me a second. All right, so I got all the uh, wiring done here and the redstone for the silo back here. And I just want to show you real quick how it works. It's a tight squeeze, but and my redstone wires are all messed up, like I said before, from my texture pack. But hopefully you can follow along. Basically what we have here is this is a chest that we're going to be able to grab our items out of. And so the way I've got this set up basically is with that river canal. I'm going to come back from whatever I'm doing, just throw all my junk in there, and it'll basically start to build up in the silo. And this silo right here is for me to put my stuff away. So once I start seeing lights turning on, I know, oh, i got a bunch of random junk in here. I need to take them out and put them where they go. And we'll get all these chests labeled uh, with item frames or signs I haven't decided yet. I, I want to do item frames, but I think there's still a problem with, with that causing a, a bit of lag in the game. Um, so I'm not sure with the snapshots how you know the game handles the, the item frames these days. But I'd 
Personally, I'd rather go with the item frames if that's not a problem. But if you know, if it's still a problem, let me know because uh, I don't want to cause lag. And that's the whole reason why I didn't do like an automated storage system here. This is basically just going to be, you know, grab my junk out of here, turn around, figure out where it goes, put it away. Um, and I just got to make sure I stay uh, disciplined, about, you know, about that. So anyway, that's what this silo is for. The other ones are going to be for mass storage. So, you know, things like cobble or smooth stone or dirt or uh, hopefully iron blocks. <laughs> Looking at you, Tango. Um, so that's, yeah, that's the point of this. And the way it works here is for these lights to turn on, the hopper right there uh, will need to start getting items into it. Uh, so that would mean that chest fills up or possibly the items are draining through. You'll see the lights turn on for a little bit as they drain. Uh, but once that starts to get items in it, it will turn this comparator on. You can see that comparator there, uh, which is going to go into that repeater, into this block here, power that dust there, into a repeater, repeater, and then power this block right here, which powers that lamp and that lamp. Uh, since we got two lamps underneath the chest itself, it's good that I can power that one and it will also power that one. Uh, so the bottom layer is a little funky, but then it starts to get to the standard pattern after that to where you can see I got the hopper off of that chest there, going into comparator there, block here, going to light up that redstone dust, repeater, and then it goes across redstone dust into that block there, uh, which will light up that redstone lamp only. And there's one same thing on the other side, basically. And then the layer after that is actually even easier. Let me get some blocks so I can go up. Just a few here. Uh, get out my weight torch. Um, you can see when, I think I went up too far. <laughs> it's hard to see this layer. Uh, this over here, there is a hopper going into that back side of the chest, and that one's easy because you can just put a comparator on the back. Let me get a little bit closer. And there you can kind of see it. It's hard to get a good view. There's the hopper there comparator off the back and it just goes into the block in between the lamps and that turns them both on and only those two on so pretty cool design uh, if, if you want to do a, a silo with you know double lamps like this um, you know I, it's more aesthetic for me uh, kind of a hassle with the all the redstone in the back but uh, yeah I, I like it I think it looks good and it's it's totally worth the effort for me so Anyway, um, that's going to do it for me for this episode. I got a lot done. I'm, I'm actually really happy with the way all this turned out. Uh, like I said before, we got a lot done. I have uh, all my buffs going on from my beacons now around my base, so I'm excited about that, be able to run around. and uh, When I do have mobs here, I'll be able to kill them no problem with the strength and everything going on. And I mean, come on. Five beacons coming out of a, a player launcher. <laughs> in this massive storage room um yeah yeah i think it's coming along uh, i'm definitely happy here let's go test out the strength on this little guy don't ask about Ooh, one shot there you go <laughs> don't ask about the uh the villagers like i said in a previous episode i got plans for them that's right i got plans for all you guys <laughs> All right, cool. So I'll wrap it up, and I will see you guys again next time. If you enjoyed the video, please make sure you leave me a like. Um, leave me some comments. Let me know what you thought of the storage room or if you have any ideas about item frames and snapshots and things like that. And uh, I will see you guys again next time. Hopefully we'll get started working on the theme park attraction in the end. Uh, may do one or two other things before that, but uh, I'm definitely going to start working on it very, very soon. So, all right, guys. Have a good one. See you again next time. <laughs>